What are you afraid of in artificial intelligence? Stay tuned. My name is Zeke Matthew, and welcome to Animated Christian, where we do original content. I'm sure you have heard of AI, or artificial intelligence. Now, I will get to robots in another video, since these are interchangeable. Here's what's interesting. Did you know that algorithms like here on YouTube and your smart TV and your smartphone and Alexa and Echo are all forms of AI studying you on what you watch and making recommendations to similar things to watch. Freaky, right? This is even true in Netflix and other streaming services. And a quote from a famous scientist said, With artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon Elon Musk. I chose this specific quote on purpose because I have a theory and you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. But I think the Bible speaks of some type of artificial intelligence. And why do I believe this, you may ask? This is because after reading the book of Revelation, I kept wondering how could a man be deceived? even by the elect. And what does it mean when he makes an image of himself, sort of like the Antichrist? Let's look at a Bible verse. Revelation chapter 13 verse 1 says, I saw a beast with ten horns and seven heads rising out of the blackness of the sea. On its horns hung ten crowns, and on its head were inscribed blasphemous names. This caught me off guard till a while ago, but I want to show you something. Look at the terms we use for our PC or computer. We are searching the web. We are surfing the web. The internet is a sea of information. Let's dive a little deeper here. As you see, the beast comes out of the sea, and artificial intelligence comes out of the sea of information. Freaky stuff, right? And this goes with the quote Elon Musk made when he said, Summoning a demon. Chew on that for a while. There are some scientists saying we will achieve singularity in our lifetime in which we will no longer be in control. Let's put it another way. Have you ever played the game Kingdom Hearts? If so, you will know there are heartless, which are beings without a heart, but have some type of emotion attached to it. Now, think of artificial intelligence the same way in which it would be a heartless without emotion on its actions. You could say we are creating a real life heartless and your second letter is S. And join me next Friday where we will discuss robot. And never forget animated Christians is just for you.